Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to another edition of the Crypto Mama Mia. Today is May 2nd, 2021. What am I talking about today, ladies and gents? Well, as you folks may or may not know, I am a big sports buff. I love anything and everything sports. I, I especially enjoy the NFL. So I wanted to share some news with you folks to let you know that, you know, it's not just techie nerds like us. I don't even know if I consider myself a techie nerd, but people like us who enjoy crypto. No, 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 no. It's people. Well, I'll show you. But before I do, I just wanted to remind you, this is not financial advice. Read my disclaimer and always watch the latest and greatest for crying out loud. Well, what am I talking about today, ladies and gents? Trevor Lawrence. That's right. If you are unfamiliar with him, he was the number one pick in the NFL draft that happened this weekend. And guess what, ladies and gents? You know, for being the number one person to be picked, you usually get a hefty signing bonus because you know that you're the best of the best. So whichever team picks you, they have to pay a heavy, heavy price to get you. And I mean, I don't blame, I, I believe it was the Jaguars, Jacksonville Jaguars that got him. I don't blame them. He's a really good quarterback. I've watched him in several college championships. He is agile on his feet and he can throw the ball like no other. And guess what? He has a $24 million bonus, but guess what else? He wants it in crypto. That's right, ladies and gents. For all of you who think ah, crypto is just a fad, crypto won't amount to anything. Crypto is just for techie nerds. Well, <laughs> I don't know if Trevor Lawrence is a techie nerd, but I'm sure he has someone in his corner who does their research. And this is what this channel is all about. It's all about doing your research, ladies and gents. And someone must have told him, hey, maybe think about crypto or getting your bonus in crypto because he's getting $24 million in crypto. And I believe, let's see if we can see here. And yes, he did get signed by the Jacksonville Jags. Let's see. And he likes crypto. <laughs> he actually joined Blockfolio too. Yep, see, he has crypto tokens, the bonus. Let's see what kinds. Oh, here you go. He actually wanted three types of cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. I'm not too familiar with Solana, but I am definitely familiar with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, ladies and gents, I can you imagine if he got, let's say, a third in each? So let's let me pull out my handy dandy calculator real quick. Hold on one second here. All right, so, you know, let's see what the price is of Bitcoin right now. Let's just say, let's see here, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, or whichever one pops out first. Um, yeah, let's just say 24 mil. Let's divide that by three, first of all. Right, let's just make sure that's... Uh, Yeah, 24 million, divide that by three equals, let's see, 8 million, right? Yep, 8 million. So let's say, let's see, let's look at the prices here. Um, let's see which one pops out. And I mean, look at these prices, ladies and gents, they're just on a tear, my goodness. I mean, Bitcoin's a little down, but you know, it's Sunday. If you watch the uh, Oracle's channel, you know that Sunday is usually dump day. You know, this is why you need to watch this channel, ladies and gents, he gives you tips like that. But uh, let's see here. Okay, hold on, it's, okay, okay here we go, 57,000. 594. Let's just say it goes back up to because he got it at this. Let's say he got it at this price. It was, or even ETH. Let's do ETH, right? Let's say that he got it at this price, right? So $8 million divide that. Let's see. Let's just round it up to 3,000, right? Divided by 3,000 because that's the price right now. So he would get this much ether, right? 
2,666 ether. Now let's say for, you know, argument's sake that because that's what crypto does, pumps. And let's say it pumps to, I don't know, let's be conservative even. Let's say it pumps to 3,500. So he makes $500 profit on each Ethereum, right? Because that's what he's getting for his uh, $8 million worth of Ether at the $3,000 price tag. But let's say it went up 500 bucks because it looks like Ether is doing that. So his eight, ooh, his eight million would have turned into this nine million, nine point three million. <laughs> so just from him wanting to get his bonus in ETH, Ethereum, you know, even if it pumps up just to five hundred, like up five hundred to thirty five hundred from today's price of about three thousand because that's when he received his coin, right? Then, oh my goodness, he would have made a cool, approximately, eh, you know, a million roughly, just off of the price pump. So his 24 million is now <laughs> at least, and, and this is just from his ether holdings. We don't even know what Solana and um, Bitcoin would do, but his, his 24 million bonus will at least just from his ether holdings pump up to 25 million, right? And that is so possible because you've seen Ethereum go crazy. Like, oh my gosh, it's just, they're just going up and up, right? So even if it just hit 3,500, then oh my goodness, gracious me. That's just crazy. <laughs> so ladies and gents, this is why if you are not at least at the very least, again, not financial advice, but if you are not at the very least doing some research, then, you know, you are doing yourself a disservice. Do some research. You know, I have many things that I'm doing with my crypto. I'm a small baller, but you can see that you can even take your small stacks because even though we don't have 24 million, that doesn't mean we can't start off with something small. I mean, look at, I don't know, I'm just picking one, Litecoin. If you had that, maybe, or XLM or any of these, I, I usually stick to the bigger coins such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, or even Binance, that's my latest, my latest uh, obsession <laughs> is Binance coin. But yeah, I mean, just start out with those small coins and you start out with a portion of them. You don't even need to buy a whole one. I keep telling people you can buy fractions of crypto, right? Like I just give away some fractions of crypto, you know, and congratulations to the winner. Man, I have to tell you folks, though, there are so many scammers out there. It took me some took me some digging to figure out who is who and who deserved it. I, I, you know, I'm going to figure out a better way to do it. It's just so, <laughs> it's so difficult to figure out. And for all you scammers out there, shame on you, you know, shame on you. I, oh, here, look, BNB up another percent, 626. Ladies and gents, when I started out with BNB profit, one BNB coin was 414. And because of this price pump simply, I've already made back what I initially put in. In fact, I put in another one because I am so excited about BNB profit. I do have a link below if you are interested in checking that out. But my goodness, Trevor Lawrence. And you know what, ladies and gents, he is not the only one. Um, you you got to do what the rich people do, or at least research what the rich people do. Maybe you can't do exactly what they do because we can't be buying 24 million bucks worth of crypto. But even Tesla guy, Elon Musk, he not only has it in his company, but he also has it for himself, apparently. <laughs> and he hasn't sold it. You know, I mean, who knows? Of course, we can only go off of what people tell us or tell the media. So all you need to do is figure it out for yourself. Do you want to be part of it or not? That's the good thing about crypto. You can choose to be part of it or you can choose to sit on the sidelines and just watch and watch. I myself have watched a lot of things go by and have not taken advantage of it, but I'm done with those days, ladies and gents. This is my crypto journey and I'm just telling you what I'm doing and I'm definitely done 
with the days of just sitting by on the sideline. I am doing so many things with different cryptos, even just holding, ladies and gents. You may have seen my Block 5 videos. I do have a Celsius video. I'm going to just look into more, just even long-term holding type things like KuCoin and other things like that. But ladies and gents, please, for the love of all that is good in this world, go do your research. I mean, look, someone told Trevor Lawrence about it. I'm excited to watch him play. I hope he's the starting quarterback next year for the Jags. But who knows? <laughs> but I mean, come on, guys. This kid is what, 21, 22, 23 at the oldest? I have no idea how old he is, but... Again, we're not all going to have what he has. I mean, look at this. This is his contract. And 24 of that is his signing bonus, which he put into, let's see again, Bitcoin, ETH, and Solana, right? And just from the ETH holdings, I calculated it. If he made 3,500, like if it, the price were to pump up to that, he would make at least a cool million off of that. Like if he made a third go into each coin. His third that went into ether would have gained him a cool 1.3 million about, about roughly. But still, but still, let, like, let's imagine that ETH did pump up to that like in, in a couple weeks or next month or whatever. Then right there, he made a cool million just from having his signing bonus in some crypto. Isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. And I think you're crazy for not doing your research. And here's this guy too, Russell Okung. He converted half of his $13 million salary into BTC, right? Or even this Kansas City Chiefs guy, Sean Culkin, he converted 100% of his salary to Bitcoin. <laughs> and I think, I think when, uh, let's see, when Sean did it, if he did it earlier this year, when it was when Bitcoin was around because earlier this year, ladies and gents, even in just 2021 or even like the earlier half of 2020, Bitcoin was around teetering three to, I don't know, 10,000 like in those first half of the year. So if he got any of his salary or even towards the second half before it hit over 30, if he got his salary in Bitcoin back then when it was under 30 and now Bitcoin is this ridiculous price right here. <laughs> See, these guys are smart. You know, if I had a job and my job asked me if I wanted to get paid in Bitcoin, I would totally tell them, yes, yes, please give it to me in Bitcoin. And then, you know, you can always do like some smart things with it, you know, convert half of it into stable coin or USD so that you can actually pay for stuff and then hold the rest because then it's, it's your money working for you. Ladies and gents, if you do not know, the dollar is dying. So while we have these opportunities to take advantage of crypto in ways that who knows if we will be able to do that in the future, take advantage of it now. That's why I have things like BNB Profit, Qubit Life, those things like that. And at the very least, ladies and gents, go do your research. Even if you just did something like a BlockFi, right? What if you put, let's not even say a half, let's say, 1% of your salary <laughs> into Bitcoin, like these guys, right? These guys are putting like half or whatever into something like BlockFi and just letting it sit there instead of just their bank account. Can you imagine? I mean, yeah, we won't make a cool million, but hey, even if we just made an extra hundred bucks every month just from it sitting there in BTC instead of the USD, wouldn't you do that? Plus it's for free, ladies and gents. Anyways. That is my lesson of the day. And yes, I do love sports. So if you folks want to talk to me about sports, please. And I do would like to have an AMA, ask me anything session. I got to figure that out because I would want to do it on Zoom and I would want people to come on and be able to talk to me and ask me and we, we can record it. And for those of you wanting to see my face, well, who knows, maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, ladies and gents, for stopping by. Hope you're having a great Sunday day or night, wherever you are, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please stay sane. Most important of all, check all my links down below if you're interested. And yeah, go check out this article, especially if you love sports like I do. 
or if you love crypto if, even if you don't love sports but you love crypto you love these kinds of stories you gotta anyways take care and i will see you at the next video adios